Is it recording? Yes. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my entire OPI collection. I've been collecting OPI polishes for the better part of maybe um, the past 13 to 15 years, give or take. And they are one of the first brands, along with Orly, um, where I decided to invest a little bit more money into a nail polish and then along the years I've just kind of picked up a polish here a polish there I've never really bought uh, I don't think I've ever bought full-on collections from OPI I just kind of take a look at their lineup and pick out a polish that you know I pick up the ones that I really like usually for collection videos I flip the camera around and show you guys bottle shots I'm gonna show you guys bottle shots as well but I thought um, Maybe some of you guys will like this way of doing it. You guys will let me know if, if you like this way of doing it or where the camera is just only facing the polishes and I never show my face. You guys let me know and then we'll move forward that way for future collection videos. So I'll start off with some of the ones that I currently have on my winter seasonal rack. First up is Mini Style. And this one has, um, it used to be a clear base. <laughs> but mine's now tinted a little bit pink and it has white, pink, and red little glitters. Samurai breaks a nail and this one has a pretty blue flush going through it, which I think is really beautiful. Nessie plays hide and seek. <clears throat> this one looks like it has a deep navy and gold and green or teal shimmers running through it just lanaying around and this one is more of a dusty rose but it has a very fine silver shimmer running through it it's not that visible on the nails but i think that's what helps this one apply really well it has an awesome awesome formula wouldn't you like to know which has more of a chocolate brown base and then this bronze pretty little shimmer running through it it's really beautiful one of my favorites, which is Russian Navy. And this one, the base of it is navy and then it has that purple little shimmer running through it. And that's visible on the nails. I've never worn this guy actually. Now museum, now you don't. <laughs> that's so pretty. <laughs> uh, this one's a red, but it has, mm, I thought I saw a little shimmer in this. I've never worn this guy before. Some of my bottles are a little dusty here, so bear with me. Alcatraz Rocks. And this one has a purple base and then golden little shimmers. This one dries textured. It's really pretty. Exotic Birds Do Not Tweet. Um, not the best formula for this yellow. It's more like a sunshine kind of yellow. And you can see up here in the bottle, it's a little bit on the sheer side. My Chihuahua Bites. I love the name of this. It's so pretty. Oh, not the name is pretty. The polish is pretty, but the name is so fun. We have Chihuahua Mixes, which is one of the reasons why I bought this one. So this one is kind of like a red, but it leans a little bit pink. And then I also have my Chihuahua Doesn't Bite. Somewhere in here, I'll do a comparison in a moment when I come across that bottle. Malaga Wine, which is a deep berry shade. It's a cream. <laughs> Sorry. I should have dusted all of my polishes. This is Got the Blues for Red. It's one of my favorite polishes from them. I love the formula and I love the depth of this red. It's really pretty. Occasion Shrimp. It's a good one for summer. It's very bright kind of orange, pinky, red. This one's an interesting color. It's not one that I reach for very much. This one is Don't Talk Bach to me. It's B-A-C-H. And it has a little shimmer. One of my all-time favorites, Purple with a Purpose. I love this one, as you can see, I wear it a lot. So this one is a purple shimmer, but it has a strong uh, pink flash that is visible on the nails. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall. It's more burgundy, kind of blackened. Do you see that, how it kind of shifts a little bit? It's really pretty. It's very dark on the nails though. All your dreams in a vending machine. All your dreams in a vending machine, I think. It's a pink and then it has a very strong, kind of fuchsia, purpley little shimmer. This one is called Gargantuan Green Grape. And it needs to be shaken up. It's suffering from ugly bottle syndrome. 
Look at that. It's kind of a very toned down lime green. Very yellow tone. Temperature is rising. This is so pretty on the nails. I love this one. This kind of color is great for summer. This is another pretty one and unique for um, for my OPI collection. This one's so pretty. It's called DS <clears throat> Reserve. Sorry. It's from the DS line. So this line is a little bit pricier than the polishes with their black cap. And it's a pink and then it has little holographics that are visible on the nails, but they're a little toned down. They're, you don't see, um, you see the rainbows in your nails, but it's not super, super strong. It's so pretty though. I love that one. Great formula. This one is called Austin Tatious Turquoise. <laughs> this one's pretty sheer and I mean hella sheer. At four coats, I can still see my nail line. I haven't reached for this one in a long time. I'm actually, I'm hoping to reach for more of my OPI polishes this coming year. Maybe using this one as a topper or something like that. One of my favorite toppers, this is called Gaining Momentum. This one has flakes, like almost foil flakes. And they're not uniform, they're misshapen and they're so, so pretty. Mine has gotten pretty thick, but I can still use it. It's a really pretty topper. I love this one. I don't use it as much only because I don't want to run out of it and they don't make that one anymore, <laughs> which is kind of silly. I think, think, think vlog is Friday or think vlog is Friday. It's so weird. That's so funny. This one looks very similar to this one. Oh, nope, it doesn't. I thought I did, but it doesn't. Uh, so this one's a pink and then it has a fuchsia little shimmer running through it. But the base of it looks almost like it hints a little brown too. I don't know, can you see that? This one kind of leaked out of the bottle. Um, it's from the Hello Kitty collection and this one is called My Pal Joey. It's like a primary blue. It's a cream. Another one of my favorites from OPI, Chopsticks and Stones. This is like f sapphire on the nails, it's so pretty. Every time I wear this one, I get a lot of compliments, but that's because the polish is so beautiful. Look at it. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm not really a waitress. Another favorite. This one looks like straight up um, gift, like a foil gift wrap on the nails. It's not a foil finish. It's a shimmer, but it's my foily polish that I like pulling for the holidays. It's really great. Uh, the reds in uh, from OPI for the most part, all. Oh. The ones that I've tried all have a really great formula. Putting on the glitz. Oh, this is a new one. <laughs> I don't like it. I bought these two from, I don't know what collection it's from, to be honest, I don't remember the name of the collection, but I thought, ooh, this is so cool and unique for OPI, right? They don't venture, they don't experiment too much with their finishes. And so when I saw this, I thought, so cool. Um, they're curlies, they have flakes, like um, iridescent flakes, both of them. This one of which the base is a little bit more on the charcoaly side, but it's blue leaning and it has all those flakes. And then this one's blue. I'm gonna try to put these on the nails. I have, I tried them on two nails. Uh, one each and not very good. I felt like the base covers all of the little glitz, all of the little shimmers. Um, so, but I'm happy that they're experimenting, you know, with finishes. These are not the best, so I do hope that they continue down this line and just kind of perfect the formula of these. Oh, I didn't mention what these are called, actually. This one is called Putting on the Glitz, this one, and Bring It, Bring It On, Bring It On. This one is another one that dries textured and it's called um, Stay the Night. This is so pretty for fall and winter. Oh, so beautiful. The base is more like a black and purple and then it has these pink metallic glitters. And in some lights, some of them, they reflect a little lighter on the nails. I love this, but I, I love texture polishes in general. I think they're great. Sun, sea, and sand in my pants. It's like a canary kind of yellow. 
looks really pretty. I can only wear OPI, which is a white with a drop of black in it. So it grays it out a little bit. Another red, Coca-Cola red. Uh, this is, it's a Piazza cake, which is more like a pumpkin orange, like a burnt pumpkin orange. It's so pretty, really good formula for this one. Great for the fall. This one is called Lincoln Park After Dark. I'm pretty sure I have a couple of these. This one at my bottle, you guys can see I have it down to here. It's a staple, I love it. It's great, it's a black and purple. It's awesome. It does end up looking black on the nail, so if that's not something that you like, this would not be up your alley. Love something cool. Something and cool. It's a brown, but it has a very fine, like silver purple little shimmer. Do you see that? It's really pretty. I haven't worn that one in a while. This one is Christmas Gone Plaid. It's more of a Christmassy, kind of a dark evergreen. It suffers from ugly bottle syndrome, but I've mentioned before, do not let that <laughs> mislead you. This is beautiful and it has a great formula. This is another favorite of mine, Here Today, Ergon Tomorrow. It's a black and green, but it's very yellow leaning. And then as you can see, I've used quite a bit of this bottle before. It's really, really pretty. It looks, it ends up looking almost black on the nails. And then this one is a repurchase for me because I bought it when the Mexico City collection came out last year and my sister loved loved it so I gave her mine and then I just went out and bought another one. Mural, mural on the wall. And the base of this is a coral and then it has gold um, kind of little glitters and then not so mis misshapen little flakes in here or larger little gold glitters. It's really pretty on the nails. The base is more of um, a curly, so it does require three coats for this one. It's such a beautiful color. And then this one is called, it's in the clouds. It's a pink that leans just a, a dash, a little bit pink. Not the best white, it's one of the, the whites that does, just doesn't have the best formula in my collection. Do you have this color in Stockholm? Another favorite of mine. It's a, a great purple. Really good formula. First coat of this one looks like it's going to have a terrible formula because it applies a little bit streaky. But once you add the second coat, it's like magic happens with this polish because it gets opaque at two coats. Every month is Oktoberfest. This one's kind of uh, like a Merlot kind of color, I would say. But then it has a little bit of warmth, like a little bit of bronze in it also. Great for the month of October, for the fall. This gold is so pretty. I love this gold. It's <laughs> keep me, keep me on my mistletoe. Oh man, I just flipped it around, but I had it down to here. It's a gold shimmer, uh, very basic color, but I think to do like, you know, accent nails, it's really pretty pretty to have something like this. That's not what I'm wearing on my nails though. This one's really pretty too. This one is called Top the Package with a Bow. It's a black and then it has gold glitters. And it has like a, not even so much a black. I haven't worn this one in a little bit. It's a black, but it almost has a hint of purple. Or am I seeing things here? But look at all of the little glitters. Look at how pretty that is. Look at it. That's beautiful. This is a newer acquisition. A good formula for this one though. It's a complimentary wine from OPI. It came out in the, was it fall or winter collection? I can't remember this past year. It has a bit more of a sheer formulation, so it does take about three coats. This is a really cool topper. I don't use it though, and I think it's because it's super, it's the chunkiest topper. <laughs> I have, they're large hexes, so elegant. And the base is a black jelly. Um, let's see, you guys can see that right there. And look at the size of those glitters. And then it has, I wanna say micro black glitters too, which I think is super cool also. You know, not something everybody would like, but I think it's really weird, <laughs> that's why I like it, I don't know. I don't know. This one is called I'm on a sushi roll. 
such a pretty color i love this one it suffers from ugly bottle syndrome great formula for this one though it looks awesome on the nails pure at my whistle a favorite of mine i love toppers <laughs> this one i find to be so cute and interesting it has silver micro little shimmers and then it has some kind of medium size white hexes and then larger white hexes also but what i like about the little the white glitters in here is that they're a little bit transparent and a little bit satiny so if one lays down here and the other one kind of lays over it you can see the one under it like it adds this dimension on the nails i really like that never a dullest moment it's kind of a sunshine yellow but a little bit more muted and slightly slightly leaning on the mustard side this is gonna be a very long video i have two more <laughs> two more little trays here to go oh susie's keys in the pyrene yeah it's a gray like a charcoal gray and it is a shimmer it's a very fine shimmer though it's not super visible on the nails but it doesn't i think it helps the polish because it doesn't look completely flat on the nails either it adds a little bit of interest to the nail and it's really pretty good formula for this one also i haven't worn this guy in a while very long time rich girls and po boys two to three cuts for this one really great color for the summer i love it this is my newer acquisition this is my italian is a little rusty it's a rusty kind of orange. Here it is compared to It's a Piazza Cake. So this is It's a Piazza Cake and this is my Italian. Both of which are really, really beautiful. But if I you were to ask me, I prefer this one more so than I do this one. Only because this one, I don't know, it just has a little bit more brown in it. I just really like this orange. I think it's unique to where It's a Piazza ends up looking compared to my Italian. It ends up looking a little bit brighter. It has a little bit more red. An oldie and a favorite. You can see I've used this one a little, quite a bit. Let's get till we drop. It's a bluish teal cream. Great formula for this one. I know they came out with, because they don't make this polish anymore. I don't, I don't know if you can still find this one online. They came out with a similar color. Not last year, but the year before. And I think they carry that color in their core line. This is a good one also. Susie the First Lady of Nails came out in the Washington DC collection. It's an, almost like an olive army green. Another berry tone from OPI. Yes, my condor can do. <laughs> but a little bit on the dusty side, if you can see that. Oh, this is their anniversary. Happy anniversary. I bought this one because I wanted to wear it for my anniversary with my husband. And then I just never ended up wearing it. This is a white with a pearl finish. Not my favorite finish, but because it was an anniversary polish, I just thought, oh, let me wear something like that for my anniversary. Um, but just haven't worn it. My dog slit is a hybrid. Another favorite. So beautiful. Let me compare this one to <laughs> I'm on a sushi roll. I'm on a sushi roll has a little bit more blue in it. Both are great though. Both are awesome polishes. I'm happy to have them both. Turn on the northern the northern lights. So the base is more like a purpley blue and it has this really pretty shimmer that's not that visible on the nails. It's definitely a little exaggerated in the bottle. <laughs> but it's still pretty. Showered by petals. God, I haven't I haven't reached for this one in a while. I mean, but I have used it. It's really pretty. Again, not the best formula for a white. Dreams on a silver platter. Let me not shake this up so you guys can see. There's micro gold glitter, um, and then it has the larger. You see how the larger glitters settle at the bottom, and then the micro gold glitter um, stays at the top. Before I shake it up, you shake it up, and then you get a mix of all of the colors. So you get some chunkier silver and white glitters so let's <sighs> cotton mouth i'm gonna liquid diet today because i have a procedure coming up tomorrow and then that's what it looks like when it's shaken up oh carrie, carrie blossom from the washington dc collection i love this berry um usually takes three coats for me 
Oh my god, I'm gonna start getting itchy because I'm allergic to dust. Chick Flick Cherry. This is a really pretty red, really good formula. Most of um, OPI's reds are really, uh, they they have a really good formula. This one's very pink leaning too though. It's really pretty. A very um, brown leaning um, kind of red. This one is called Como Se Llama. So great, again, really good formula it looks great for fall especially i like it in the fall oh and oh god i love this polish so much this is a duo this is green on the runway <laughs> yep it's been so long i didn't know if i remembered the name of it but it's so beautiful this is the epitome of fall it's a green but then it flashes it has flashes of bronze that is comes up way more in person than you see here on camera or maybe by the time I get to editing, you guys will be able to see it a little bit more. It's so pretty. Let me get my face out of it so you guys can see. And a much thinner formula, so it does require a few coats, but it's worth it in the end. Oh, Viking in a Ventral Wonderland. I can't read the whole name, but as long as I can catch up a little parts of the name, then I'll remember. This was my go-to purple for the longest time. And it was one that I wore or finished bottles of and repurchased because the formula is really good. And it's beautiful. This one, uh, it's, not, it's not a favorite of mine. Miss, um, Miss Piggy's Big Number. It's a blue shimmer in the bottle. It looks like it kind of has a little flash of a blurple, but it almost falls flat on the nails. So I feel like I only get the little blue shimmer. A thinner formula for that one also. I think you guys can see that here at the top a little bit. Uh, Fearlessly Alice. This is the one that's notorious for staining. Oh my god. I mean, it looks awesome on the nails. Oh. But it stains terribly. Terribly. The nail, the cuticle, the skin around the nail. But it's so pretty. Um, I really like the color of this one has a little bit more green, I feel like, compared to Rich Girls. Yep. There's Rich Girls and Poor Boys. Lean's a little bit more dusty. And then Fearlessly Alice just has a dash of green. I feel like that's what makes it look so vibrant on the nails, um, which is why I like it, but it's, it stains horribly. So the Thrill of Brazil, really good, bright red. Great for summer, spring, summer, you know, whichever. Maybe I should start putting my reds aside here. This one is another one from the Hello Kitty collection. Look at my bowl. Not the best pink. I have used this one quite a bit and have it down to here. But I love, I love pinks like this, so I'm always willing to work with the formula. Check out the old Geishers. Um, this is kind of a light blue. No, it's like a light gray with a little bit of blue and then it has a strong blue shimmer. I want to say this one had a thinner formula too. I've only ever used this one once. <laughs> so it takes maybe two, three coats or something like that. Not a terrible formula, but by any means. But I want to say I see more of the blue. You see the blue shimmer on the nails, but um, it's not as strong as you're seeing here on camera. Another white. This one is called My Boyfriend Scales Walls, which came out in... Um, Spider-Man collection. Another white that has a drop of black in it so it grays it out just a little bit. Um, let me pull out I cannoli. Because for the for a long time there, I I wore I cannoli a little bit more. But do you see? Do you see that? Let's see. They're a little bit grayed out. Let me put it next to a white. Maybe you guys, yep, you see, it brings out more of the gray on these two bottles here. This one, which is an interesting little topper, has micro black glitter, some yellow, some blue, and then a little bit larger black glitters. God, I haven't used this one in a very long time. This one is called To Be or Not To Beagle. <laughs> Very interesting though. Berlin there, done that. It's a taupe. A little bit purple, a little bit gray. It's a cream. Oh my God, we're almost 30 minutes and we're not, I have one more little tray. This one is called Icing, uh, Icing and Carol. 
Oh, I love this one. One Hecla of a color is, has a phenomenal formula. This is so good. Really great. Winter, actually, this is great for winter because it's a little bit dusty, but I've worn this in spring and summer, so. Great formula for that one. Barefoot in Barcelona. This is a really pretty nude, very pink leaning. It looks great on the nails. I'm not a big nude polish wearer. I have, I am gonna be doing um, a nude polish video, like a collection video or something like that, but I don't wear nudes all that often, so surprising. I don't know why I have that many. Big Apple Red, very bright red. Which one's this one? Thrill of Brazil. Thrill of Brazil has a little bit more pink in it. I love the color of this. No tan lines, because it looks like mac and cheese. <laughs> Or like a tangerine. But the formula is horrid. <laughs> Oops, sorry. It is not the best formula, but it's such an interesting color that I keep it around for that reason. I love this one from DS, uh, from OPI. It's the part of the DS line. It's DS Indulgence. This looks like fire on the nails. It's red and then it has a very strong gold shimmer. It looks beautiful on the nails. I love this one too. Ring. Ring the buzzer again. This one I think came out in a breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, in a breakfast at Tiffany's collection, my mom gave me this one. It came with another, another polish. I just can't remember which one it is. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'll remember once I come across it. It's a very deep red. It's not a bright red. It's a little bit. Um, I would say deeper one that I would probably wear. I don't know why I didn't mention this one actually for my reds for the holidays because that's a good one. This is a really pretty one too. Made your look. It's a little gray. It's a little purple also. This one is so pretty. This is an oldie. This is Care to Dance. Nope. Nope. Who's the artist? God. Oh, where's Care to Dance? Because it's very similar in color, but Care to Dance is a jelly. Okay, so let's do this one. Because this one came out in the um, Mexico City collection. I think that was the name of the collection last year for um, summer. So Hughes the Artist. And not the best formula. Um, so it's not my favorite. It's a little bit sheer. And you can even see right in this area. And this is Care to Dance. It's a little bit more jelly. And compared to Hughes the Artist, it's more pink. This one's really pretty to do jelly sandwiches. I should do that actually this spring or summer. A woman's prerogative. I can't read it. As long as I can catch a little bit of the name that I'll remember. I, this one's one of those that has kind of that orange, um, orange red shimmer and a very strong gold shimmer. Really beautiful, kind of like DS Indulgence. So this is DS Indulgence and this is a woman's prerogative. Looks like lava. So pretty. Oh, another Lincoln Park After Dark, but this is my newer bottle. <laughs> oh, this one's pretty too. Luxurious. DS Luxurious. So a bit of a brighter, um, a bit of a brighter orange. This one's a little bit more like a red orange. This is definitely brighter, and then it has a strong gold shimmer also. Look at that. That looks like lava. So pretty. Do you lilac it? So good for spring and summer. I have too many. This video is going to be really, really long. Sorry. DS Titanium. Fuchsia something. A flash bulb fuchsia. This one I have down to here. I recently shook it up. I was going to put it in a project polish, but I decided against it. And it has a really pretty little silver shimmer. This one is getting naughty on my honeymoon. Not a, a pink that doesn't look the best on me. Um, formula is also a little bit tricky. My private jet. I don't know what version of this one I have. This is my private jet, right? Yep. Okay. So there's different versions out there. I don't know which one of them I have. But this is, is like this is a classic from OPI. They still make this polish. They have it as part of their their core line. Another My Boyfriend Scales wall. Walls. Something. I got a little message. 
I hope it doesn't stop recording. Don't stop recording. Oh, a favorite of mine, Sunrise Bedtime. Another one from a Breakfast at Tiffany's collection. I recently put um, some suspension base because mine was getting very, very thick. This is a super holographic <laughs> micro glitter. It's so beautiful. I had mine down to here because I used the crap out of this one. And it, this one does dry textured. It's a little bit of a thicker formulation, but it does dry textured and it is so beautiful. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And it it's very pink leaning. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. A great pink for summer. This one is called VI Pink Passes. Beautiful. A bit more of a sheer formula. You can see that there. Um, but I th it, this one dries more like a matte. So it does dry pretty quick. I want to say this one, if I remember correctly, it takes about four coats, but it dries really fast. Every layer dries really fast. And this is, I think this is my Chihuahua doesn't bite. Yep, my Chihuahua doesn't bite, which leans a little bit more, um, I want to say a little bit more orange than my Chihuahua bites. Yep. So my Chihuahua bites leans more pink, and then my Chihuahua doesn't bite leans more orange. I bought these because we, we, our, we, our fur babies are, um, our chihuahua mixes and so that's the reason why i have these two. Ooh, this really pretty purple it's very vibrant on the nails this one is called a positive vibes only very similar because i think these two came out in the same collection so they have a very similar formula where they're not full-on creams they have a little bit of transparency in them and they do dry a little bit matte so but i want to say this one didn't take more than three coats to wear this one i want to say three to four coats but look at that like perfect for summer this is a really pretty um kind of a pinky nude kind of color this one is called worth a pretty penny and like a penny kind of color so um but not full on it's more pink on me this cost me a mint very a green leaning mint it's a cream one that I, I love clearly this one was a huge disappointment to me because it falls flat on the nails this one is called do you see what i see with a question mark and it has this really beautiful um purple little flash that i don't and it's very strong in the bottle i know maybe you guys are not seeing it but it's very strong in the bottle and i don't see that on the nails and it looks way more reflective in the bottle than it does on the nails on the nails it just falls really flat <laughs> so i'm thinking maybe i'll use it over top of um like as a topper you know, maybe, I mean, maybe that'll work. This one is called Push and Shove. I want to say this came out in a Gwen Stefani collection. So it's a uh, metallic silver. Super cute in pink, any pink polish. I love this one. It's a little bit also more sheer. You can see that here, but this pink is so beautiful on the nails. I love it. I care about you. Really pretty purple with that little shimmer that is visible on the nails. Really great formula for this one. My vampire is buff. Oh, I just moved it. Maybe you guys will see where I'm at. So this is a white also from them, but it leans very beige, kind of pink and beige, I want to say. About three coats for this one. This is a great green. Um, I'm so swamped. This one can duo for fall if you want something a little bit funky and brighter. Cause, you know the month of October but it's great for summer also so beautiful permit me to speak can't read the name it's a very sheer polish three coats and I can slightly still see my nail line kind of like you can see here with this little shimmer polish but that duo is very visible on the nail so get a little green looks like even a little yellow and a little purple and a little pink and this is another shimmer this one's from the Sephora by OPI looks like rain Rain Deer. <laughs> I think these are the only two that I have from Sephora Boy OPI, this gold one, which I just mentioned, but this is a shimmer. Another one. I don't know if these are from the Gwen Stefani collection. I want to say they are. Yeah. Love Angel Music Baby. <laughs> I want to say it is from the Gwen Stefani. I don't use these very much. I literally just bought them because I love Gwen Stefani. <laughs> First Class Desires. I haven't worn this guy in a really long time, but look at that. Look at how pretty that is. So the base is more like a purple burgundy kind of color and it has a strong gold shimmer, but the shimmers, um, it's almost like you, they reflect a little green too. Look at that. So pretty. Topless Beach. 
So another taupe, did I mention another one? This is uh, Berlin there done that. So Berlin there leans a little bit more brown and topless beach leans a little bit more mm, purple. Squeaker of the house. It's a nude. I need to wear this one. I wore, um, I had a little mini and I think that's what I stuck to for a long time. And I finally um, caved in and bought the full size. So this is not something that's been touched. This bottle is new basically, but it's kind of like a nude for me. Miami Beat. Look at how pretty that color is. Great formula for this one. And lastly, Mi Casa is Blue Casa. Another primary blue. Cream, and this one has a great formula also. Similar, kind of similar to My Pal Joey. Yeah, My Pal Joey. But only that it's a little bit deeper. And I almost see a little bit more dustiness in My Pal Joey than I do see in Mi Casa is Blue Casa. Oh my God, that's it. <laughs> That's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it served as a reminder um, to you guys to pull out some of your older um, OPI polishes. I know it serves as a reminder for me. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.